माय सेल्फ मीता वर्मा असिस्टेंट टीचर इन गवर्नमेंट कॉलेज आगरा टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू टेल यू अ स्टोरी व्हिच इज रिलेटेड टू आवर चाइल्डहुड व्हेन वी वर यंगर देन दैट टाइम वी थॉट दैट आवर पेरेंट्स आर वेरी स्ट्रिक्ट विद अस बट नाउ एट दिस टाइम वी अंडरस्टैंड दैट दे वर नॉट रॉन्ग दैट टाइम सो लेट स्टार्ट आवर चैप्टर माय डियर स्टूडेंट Today we are going to study the chapter class 9 subject English lesson 3 the little girl which is written by Catherine Mansfield so my dear children before going to start this chapter i would like to introduce with the author of this chapter here Catherine Mansfield Murray is the author of this chapter she was born in 1888 and died in 1923 She was a prominent New Zealand modernist short story writer and poet who was born and brought up in colonial New Zealand. Now let's see the introduction of the chapter The Little Girl. The theme of the story is the relationship between children and their parents and the writer Catherine Mansfield wants to tell us that children share a very important bond of love with their parents although when children are small when they are young they do not feel that their parents love them because their parents are strict and many actions of the parents seem unjustified but as children grow up they realize that all the acts done by their parents were beneficial for then the parents were concerned for them and beneath the strictness lies a heart full of love for the children and this bond of love between parents and their children has been highlighted through this story student let's begin with the story of this chapter the little girl which is written by catherine mansfield This story about a little girl whose feeling for her father changed from fear to understanding will probably find an echo in every home. Now children, what do we mean by will probably find an echo in every home? This mean that all the children will feel the same way. So all can refers to the feeling of little girl Kezia. Just like Kezia is full of fear towards her father and later on she understands his behavior and feels that he was concerned and he loved her all the children also have the same feeling towards their parents to the little girl he was a figure to fear and avoid it and who is the figure to be feared here kesia's father so He refers to Kezia's father and the girl is Kezia so the opening line of the story is indicating the fear that Kezia has for her father and as she is fearful of her father she tries to avoid him and she tries to remain away from him let's start our story every morning before going to work he came into her room and gave her a casual kiss to which she responded with good bye father so every morning before going to work kezia's father would visit her in her room and give her a casual kiss and in reply kezia would say good bye father so this action of kezia's father shows his love for kezia and oh there was a glad sense of relief when she heard the noise of the carriage growing fainter and fainter down the long road carriages like horse carts were means of conveyance used in olden times so here we can make out the fear that kezia has for her father the writer says that when kezia heard that her father's carriage was going away from home and he was leaving home and the sound became fainter and fainter that means the sound reduced kezia would have a sense of relaxation she would feel relieved that her father had left now 
Why did she feel relieved? Because she feared her father. She was afraid of him and so she was relieved when he left home. In the evening when he came home, she stood near the staircase and heard his loud voice in the hall. Then his father ordered, Bring my tea into the drawing room. Hasn't the paper come yet? Mother, go and see if my paper's out there and bring me my slippers. In the evening, when Kezia's father would return home, she would hear his loud voice and this voice against made her afraid of him. So, as Kezia's father returned home, he would start ordering all different things. He would order that tea be served to him in the drawing room. He wanted the newspaper. He would ask his mother to go and see if the newspaper was there outside the house. And he would ask her to get him his slipper also. Now, let's see the story. What has happened? Kezia, mother would call to her. If you are a good girl, you can come down and take off father's boots. Slowly the girl would slip down the stairs, more slowly still across the hall and push open the drawing room door. Kezia's mother would call out to her and ask her to remove her father's boots. In order to make her obey, she would say that if she was a good girl, then surely she would obey her command. So again, we see Kezia's fear for her father. That is why she would come down the stairs quietly and unwillingly. Unwillingly because she did not want to face her father. She feared him. By the time he had his spectacles on and looked at her over them in a way that was terrifying to the little girl. Well, Kezia, hurry up and pull out these boots and take them outside. Have you been a good girl today? I do don't know father. You do don't know. If you stutter like that, mother will have to take you to the doctor. Now students, just imagine. Kezia's father sitting in the drawing room on a sofa, wearing his spectacles and he is looking at Kezia over the spectacles. And now the way he looked at her terrified her. She was horrified because maybe it seemed to her that he was staring at her. Kezia was reluctant in her work. She was slow in her motion and so her father would tell her to hurry up and remove his boots and keep them out of the room. And then he would ask her if she had been a good girl today. Now let's see the difficult words from the paragraph. First is slip down. It means come down. Second is spectacles. It means glasses. Terrifying means frightening. Now let's see the uses of these difficult words. Slip down. He slipped down from his bed. Spectacles. He polished his spectacles with a handkerchief. Terrifying. He raised his hand and struck her terrifying force. She never stuttered with other people. Had quite given it up. But only with father. Because then she was trying so hard to say the words properly. What's the matter? What are you looking so dressed about? Mother, I wish you taught this child not to appear on the brink of suicide. Here, Kezia carry my teacup back to the table carefully. Here, the writer tells us that Kezia never stammered while she spoke to other people. It was only when she talked to her father that she lost confidence and that is why she tried very hard to speak properly and she stammered. Now Kezia's father looks at her. He feels that something is wrong with her and he asks her why she is so unhappy and then he tells the mother that she should teach Kezia to behave in a better way. He was so big, his hands and his neck, especially his mouth, when he yawned. Thinking about him alone 
was like thinking about a giant. Here, this is the feeling that is the vision that Kezia has for her father. She feels that her father was so big. He was just like a giant. And the writer says that Kezia felt that his hand, his neck and his mouth were also so huge especially when he yawned. It seemed as if he was a huge monster and whenever Kezia thought about her father, she felt that she was thinking about a giant. Now students, let's see the difficult words from the paragraph. Quite, it means completely. Given it up means stop doing it. Rest means unhappy. Yawn means open the mouth wide because of being tired or bored. Giant means huge. Now let's see the uses of these difficult words. Quite. Those students were quite wrong. Given it up, she had given up all hope of impressing her. Rest. Sheetal was rest in the end of the movie. Yawn. Hurry yawned loudly in the middle of his speech. Giant. A giant man was sitting near to my friend Isha. Students, now let's discuss the question related to this paragraph. Question 1 is, why was Kezia afraid of her father? Answer is, Kezia was afraid of her father because he used to talk to her harshly. He was in a habit of finding out her mistakes. Now the next question is, who were the people in Kezia's family? Answer is, Kezia's family had her grandmother, mother and father. On Sunday afternoons, grandmother sent her down to the drawing room to have a nice talk with father and mother. But the little girl always found mother reading and father stressed out on the sofa. His handkerchief on his face, his feet on one of the best cushion sleeping soundly and snoring and on a stool gravely watched him until he woke and stressed and asked the time then looked at her don't stare so Kezia you look like a little brown owl so every Sunday during the afternoon Kezia's grandmother sent her downstairs to the drawing room in order to spend time with her parents so Kezia was supposed to behave in a nice way and decent way in front of her parents. So here we feel that Kezia felt a bit neglected every Sunday afternoon when she went to her parents to meet them in the drawing room and have a nice talk with them. They were busy doing their own things. Her mother was busy reading and her father was busy in sleeping and snoring. So Kezia had this image of her parents in her mind that they did not talk with her. One day when she was kept indoors with a cold, her grandmother told her that father's birthday was next week and suggested she should make a pin cushion for a gift out of a beautiful piece of yellow. Now Kezia was not well. She had a cold so she was supposed to stay at home. So her grandmother suggested that as she was at her home and her father's birthday was approaching, she could make a birthday gift for her father. So she asked Kezia to make a pin cushion for him and she also gave her a yellow colored fabric of silk to make the cushion. Now student, let's see the difficult words. Stretched out. It means lay at full length. Snoring means breathing noisily while sleeping. Gravely means seriously. Don't stare so. Don't look fixedly like this. Indoors it means inside the house. Now let's see the uses. Stretched out. He stretched out his hands to her. Snoring. She was asleep in a chair and snoring gently. Gravely, her mother was gravely ill. 
डोंट स्टेयर सो डोंट स्टेयर एट मी लाइक दैट इन डोर्स वी वेंट इन डोर्स वेन इट बिगेन टू रेन नाउ लेट सी द क्वेश्चन आंसर रिलेटेड टू पैराग्राफ फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज वॉट वॉज केजिया फादर्स रूटीन एंड सम क्वेश्चन आर रिलेटेड टू दिस क्वेश्चन फर्स्ट इज बिफोर गोइंग टू हिस्स ऑफिस आंसर इज ही यूज टू केस केजिया casually before going to his office so this is the routine of kezia's father before going to his office second is after coming back from his office so answer is he would ask for the newspaper and tea after coming back from his office and third is on sunday on sunday what was the routine of kezia's father answer is on sunday he would take rest he would enjoy sound sleep on the sofa let's see laboriously with a double cotton the little girl stitched three sides but what to fill it with that was the question kezia put in lot of effort to make the birthday gift she used double cotton and she stitched three sides of the cushion the grandmother was out in the garden and she wandered into mother's bedroom to look for scrap on the bed table she discovered a great many sheets of fine paper gathered them up so kezia was confused that what should she used to fill cushion with as her grandmother was out in the garden and she was just looking for something she reached her mother's bedroom she was looking for bits of papers or clothes to stuff into the cushion that night there was a hue and cry in the house father's great speech for the port authority had been lost rooms were searched sovereign question finally mother came into kezia's room kezia i suppose you didn't see some papers on a table in our room so kezia's mother asked her that did she see some papers laying on a table in her mother's room oh yes she said i tore them up for my surprise there was lot of shouting in the house because kezia's father had prepared a speech for the port authority and he was unable to find it now we all know where the speech has gone it has been torn into tiny pieces and kezia has stuffed it into the cushion now the family searched everywhere they asked the servants but no one knew where the sheets of paper had gone and finally the mother reached at the kezia's room now here we get to see that kezia is an innocent girl she did not intend to harm anyone she was just preparing her birthday gift and so very truly she tells her mother that she found some pieces of paper and also she needed them to stuff into the cushion so she torn them and prepared her surprise gift that is birthday gift that she had prepared for her father what screamed mother come straight down to the dining room this instant and she was dragged down to where father was pacing to and fro hands behind his back well he said sharply mother explained he stopped and stared at the child now kezia's mother is so furious when she comes to know that kezia has torn the speech that her father is looking for and so she ordered kezia to come down into the dining room now kezia's father is full of tension as his important document has been lost now let's see the difficult words laboriously means with great efforts stitch means sweat wandered means walked about aimlessly 
Scraps means pieces. Stuff means fed. Now let's see the uses of these difficult words. Laboriously. He wrote out the list laboriously by hand. Stitched. He stitched himself a book with some paper. Wondered. They haven't wondered that far today. Scraps. We will shift every scrap of evidence. Stuffed. He stuffed his pockets with nuts. Did you do that? No, no, no. She whispered. Mother, go up to her room and fetch down the damn thing. See that the child put to bed this instant. Crying too much to explain. She lay in the shadow room watching the evening light make a sad little pattern on the floor. Now, why is Kezia's father referring to the cushion that she is prepared as a damped thing because he is angry at the cushion because Kezia has torn his important document to prepare it. Kezia wanted to justify her action as she was innocent. She did not mean to harm her father. She was just preparing a surprise gift for him. She was very sad. Then father came into the room with a ruler in his hand. I am going to beat you for this, he said. Oh no, no, she screamed, hiding under the bad clothes. He pulled them aside. Sit up, he ordered, and hold out your hands. You must be taught once and for all not to touch what does not belong to you. But it was for you, B -b birthday. Down came and the ruler on her little pink palms. Now, here we come to know that why Kezia's father was being strict with her. Why was he punishing her? Because he wanted Kezia to know that this once for all that she should not touch that thing that does not belong to her. He wanted to teach her this thing so that it benefited in her future life. Right now, she was a small girl and she did not know what was important and what was not important. That is why unknowingly she had torn the important document of her father. Okay, let's see the difficult words. Dragged means pulled roughly. Pacing to and fro means moving fast here and there. Fetch down means go up and take down. Shadowed means darkened. Pattern means design. Now let's see the uses. Dragged. She grabbed the boy and dragged him away. Pacing to and fro. She paced to and fro while she waited for the doctor to give her an update on her husband. Fetch down. I will fetch him down. Shadowed. He was shadowed for a week by the secret police. Pattern. She stared at a flower pattern on the wall. Now, hours later, when grandmother had wrapped her in a shawl and rocked her in the rocking chair, the child clung to her soft body. Now, what did God make fathers for? She sobbed. Here's a clean hanky darling. Blow your nose. Go to sleep. Pet you will forget all about it in the morning. I tried to explain to father but he was too upset to listen tonight. But the child never forgot. Next time she saw him she quickly put both hands behind her back and a red color flew into her cheek. Now Kezia's grandmother was trying to pacify her. She gave her a handkerchief to blow her nose in it and go to sleep. She added that by morning Kezia would forget the beating. Kezia tried to justify herself. She said that she was trying to explain to him that the reason 
for tearing the sheets of paper but he was not ready to listen her kaise was still not comfortable she was crying and she said that god should not have made fathers she hated her father she was so innocent she did not know what wrong she had done she was just preparing a gift for him she was heartbroken as he did not understand her and said that god should not have made fathers now kezia's grandmother had told her to go to sleep and that by morning she would forget the beating that her father gave her but kezia never forgot the beating that she had got whenever she saw her father approaching she would keep her hands behind her back because she felt that maybe he would hit her again and red color flew into her cheeks whenever she saw her father she got scared and her cheeks got full of red color let's see the difficult words clung it means stuck soaked means cried with loud gasps upset means disturbed angry now let's see the uses clung his little children clung to his knees soaked she soaked my, on my shoulder upset tommy is probably a little upset now let's discuss the question answer from the passage first question is in what ways did kezia's grandmother encourage her to get to know her father better answer is kezia's grandmother sent her to her father's room to have a nice talk with him besides she asked her to make a gift of pin cushion on her father's birthday now students i hope you understand this story now let's see the summary of this chapter summary of the little girl the little girl is the story of a little girl kezia who misunderstood her father's strictness and usually remained scared of him she kept a distance from him whenever he would be at home she considered him to be as a as big as a giant she would often get nervous and stutter while talking to him once she was kept indoors as she was affected by cold her grandmother suggested that she make a gift for her father's birthday next week they decided that kezia would make a pin cushion for him kezia made a beautiful pin cushion but she accidentally made a mistake she filled it with bits of paper that she got by tearing her father's important speech she was punished for that this incident further estranged kezia from her father now children i hope you understand the summary of this chapter now let's have some practice in this given below are some emotions that kezia felt and match the emotion in column a with the items in column b these are column a and b now these are the emotion of kezia and you should match these emotion with the kezia according to the story fear or terror glad sense of relief now here we have different situation and these are emotion then we match these emotion with the situation according to story father comes into her room to give her a goodbye kiss noise of the carriage grows fainter father comes home speaking to father going to bed when alone at home father stretched out on the sofa snoring now student here we have answer of these matching fear or terror so kezia has the feeling of fear and terror when father comes home speaking to father going to bed when alone at home father stretched out on the sofa snoring and 
Second feeling, glad sense of relief. Then Kezia has glad sense of relief when father comes into her room to give her a goodbye kiss. Noise of the carriage grows fainter. Now student, I hope you enjoyed this chapter. Now I am giving you homework and you should do it at your home. Your homework is write 8 lines about your parents. What do you feel about them?